What's happening, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, super excited today to introduce Simeon to the channel. He actually discovered digital marketing a few years ago while watching the channel, while watching a testimonial, just like you're doing right now. And at first, you know, he was a young guy. He was actually in high school. He decided to jump into digital marketing and give it a try. And now he's on the channel. So he's basically come full circle. So Simeon, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for inviting me. I appreciate it. Awesome. Awesome. So let's go back to the beginning. Um, I just want to talk about your origin story. So all the way back to the beginning, before you discovered digital marketing, right? Before you discovered Seth, uh, before you discovered maybe even my channel, um, where were you at? I think you, I think you told me you were actually still in high school when you first discovered it, I believe. So where were you at? You know, what was your work experience? Did, did you ever have a job at that point? Um, what were your plans? Were you planning on going to college? All that kind of thing. Just take me back to your mindset at that point. Gotcha. So basically this all started back junior year of high school around 20, 2020, right before COVID happened. Uh, this is around the time where I was, I was a very athletic kid back in high school, did a lot of sports, swimming, basketball, all that jazz. So I was very active in school. Um, basically, long story short, towards the end of school, I started to do more research about what I wanted to do after high school. Um, and this is like right before COVID happened and everything. And then, mm -hmm. you know, going through videos, I found uh, your channel and everything. And I found a video talking about like, oh, the top 10 engineering degrees that are the best. And I kept looking at those videos and then I came across like the top 10 careers or something like that. And then digital marketing came up and I was very like intrigued by that because I never heard of that field, but like the way you were describing and how you were very like passionate and very like, oh, this is one of the best careers out here growing right now. I was very curious about that. So I decided to do more research going like towards the end of my junior year. Then COVID happened. Um, so I kind of like fell off from there. Um, fast forward all the way to my senior year of high school. I kind of started to do more research about it because I was going to graduate high school. Um, I did have an academic scholarship for a college nearby. So basically, you know, I was already kind of leaning towards going to college and everything. Um, but like this field, this career was always in the back of my head. Always. Like I always wanted to just give it a try, go into it and try and get something out of it. Long story short. So um, after I graduated high school and everything, I ended up getting a job starting school and everything and from the moment i started school i could just tell like college just like i was going through the motions it felt like you know like mm -hmm. i felt like what i was learning and what like i was what was being taught to me like yeah like yeah like you know cool and everything but it wasn't valuable like i felt like uh, how am i going to use this in the real world you know like mm -hmm. i'm not really i feel like i was just wasting time in a sense mm -hmm. you know so like, by this time I discovered Seth's course and I started watching Seth's testimonials. And basically when I was watching his testimonials, every, I felt like everything I felt everybody else was saying about college, like, you know, they felt like, you know, they weren't learning anything, blah, 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 blah. So I was just like, you know, why don't I just like give it a shot? You know, why don't I just mm. buy the course and, you know, go through his program and see how it goes and everything. Then from there, basically I started to talk about it with my dad you know, and my parents, they're a little skeptical at first. Um, so that because they were skeptical, the t the process of going into the course delayed, um, which basically led me to get another job. I started working at Target. Then finally, after like, this is like all like a two year span. Keep in mind, I was like started from high school, 18, and I'm probably like just turning 20 at this time. Basically around that time, you know, I saved up enough money and then I decided to make the deal with my dad. I was just like, hey, you know, like I'm really passionate about this. I really want to give this a try. You know, I'm not really I feel like I'm not really learning anything valuable in college at the moment. I I already took like by this time, I took like a kind of like a break of the semester. So like I was already like not doing much college at that time. And mm. my dad and me and him made an agreement that he would pay for half and I would pay for half and then we would just go through with it. And from there, you know, I went through the course and it was more than I could have imagined. You know, I learned. That's awesome. So yeah, I learned so much. And, awesome. um, you know, I was, of course, fearful, you know, when it came to like the interview process with companies and everything, because I was just like, Seth talks about, about this all the time, imposter syndrome. Mm -hmm. Like when I was learning about all this stuff, I was just like, dang, you know, this makes sense to me. But like if I would talk about this with other people, I was just like, dang like 
am I making sense to them? Do they understand me? Because nine times out of 10, nobody understood what I was saying. So what really helped me is that I met these two guys in Seth's course and everything. They already, they're alumni. They passed and got jobs and everything. One of their names, they told me, I asked them if I could shout them out. One of their names is Leon Luna and the other one's Muhammad. Uh, I can't pronounce his last name, so I'm not going to try and pronounce his last name, but his name is Muhammad. Basically, they really helped me out, just like guiding me through the course. And they allowed me to shadow them and their clientele just to see like how Google ads really works and everything, blah, 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 blah. And how an interview process is supposed to go, uh, supposed to work. And soon after that, I ended up getting interviews. I think I went through about, I, honestly, I had so many rejections and like, I think I went through like eight to nine interviews. And like, once I got to that last interview, I was just like, dang, like, is this, like, I've been rejected so many times, you know, like, of course, it's like, it's only been like two months of me applying at that time. Mm. And I've been rejected like 50 times, (laughs) not more than 50 times. Um, And I was just like, dang, like, does any of like, and does any of these people want to hire me? Like, in my Mm. skills, like up to par. Um, And then finally, at the my very last application I sent, basically the the manager reached out and I had an interview with the main uh, digital marketing director instead of the HR lady at first. So it was mm-hmm. kind of usually usually how my interviews were was with the HR lady, then the digital director or mm-hmm. something something like that. Basically, it was opposite, and we had a really good interview. And then I just, the HR lady called me like three days later. And she was like, um, you know, we really, we really like you. And all we're looking is for somebody who just truly just wants to learn and grow. And, you know, if you have, if you're open-minded and you're not afraid to mess up, you know, uh, our digital manager can teach you everything else. And I was like, yep, hundred percent. And that's how I got the job and everything. That's so. perfect. That's perfect. That's awesome. Okay. So a, a few things there. I actually had a, a few questions for you because uh, that was, first of all, it's an amazing story. It's incredible. So did you, did you land your first job at 19? Was that the exact age you landed it? So I just turned 20. Okay. Um, basically I was going through the course and I turned 19 and going through the course took about like five months or so. So by the time, to- by the time I got my job, it was February of the following year. So I was 20. And two months later, I turned 21. Gotcha. Okay. And I know you said that that part about college. I'm curious, were you in the, were you going to college during that time where everything was remote? Yeah. So basically, well, it was, it was a year after that as well. So basically everything was still like COVID Oh, like you got to wear masks sometimes in certain areas, blah, 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 blah. Um, so it wasn't like necessarily fully remote, but like the school had the option to be remote. Like if you mm-hmm. want to stay home with your classes and everything, like they gave that option, you know, but like I was going to school directly, going to classes and everything. And then when I started the course, like, and that's when I started mm-hmm. dialing in school, I decided just to start taking classes online because I was just like, I want to focus on this course. I want to just like learn as much as I can get this done as fast as possible and see what this takes me. Like, I, don't, I didn't want to waste time. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I kept on getting comments on my channel and emails from people during that time. They were just like, I can't believe I'm paying $20,000 a year to attend Zoom classes. Like, like <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, because the course, yeah. you, like you get Zoom classes on the course and it's definitely not $20,000, you know? Um, yeah. you know, it's like, it's like a hundred, couple you know, a few hundred dollars or what, $800 or something. So yeah, it's like, you know, that's just, cr- that's a crazy amount of money, especially over four yeah. years for, for zoom classes. Um, so yeah, that, I felt really bad for people who went through high school and college during that time. Cause they kind of missed out on, on, on a lot of good experiences. Okay, cool. So, you know, it took you about the, you said like five or six months or so, uh, to land that first job. How, do you remember approximately how many total applications you sent out? Okay, so in Seth's course, he talks about like, uh, like towards the end of it, like once you get through everything and he gets to like, it's past like, it's like basically towards the end, he talks about how like, you don't want to, you want to make every application specific to the job that you're applying for. As in you're looking at the website, if it's uh, a law office, or it's, if it's about attorneys in or it's about a hospital or cars, or whatever the case may be, whatever the agency or place you're applying for is about. You want to make your, you want to lead your, what's it called? Resume towards that. 
for me at first the first month i was just throwing applications out because <laughs> i was just like i want to leave target so bad like i don't want to work here anymore and i just want to get into this field and it didn't work out because like you know like seth said you know like you gotta be like you got basically he kept saying you got to do everything his way like be specific on the things that he's teaching because there's a purpose to what he's teaching so like probably after like a month i was just like you know what let me stop being lazy well, let me, you know, just like start making my resumes more specific. Um, and like I started reaching out to people. He uh, he told us in the course that there was I forget her name, but she, there was a lady in the course that she wanted he wanted us to direct our resumes to and she would help fix them and everything. And she helped a lot. She uh, basically uh, like redid my entire resume, told me what should be there, what should not be there. She said, like, don't worry about like your past job experience. Just put your digital marketing experience down. And yeah, like once I started doing that, I started to get more like responses, like resume, um, not resumes, interviews, um, f- like phone interviews, Zoom interviews, stuff like that. So, and then like soon after, that's when I got this interview. So, or the interview got, it. For- got it. Awesome. Okay. And then, so so you got that interview. You, so you don't remember exactly how many applications you sent out or oh. even an approximation oh. of how many? Sorry, I was talking too much. Um, okay. But I was probably like, I would say estimately like, probably 150 keep in okay. mind the first 100 probably bad all bad mm-hmm. all bad the first, then like the last 50 were like strictly like specific to the core and then like i got like 10 to 15 interviews from those so okay the ratio is better like if you only look at the 50 so the first 100 you probably didn't get very many interviews yeah. at all from that okay and then once you did it the way seth said like you got about 15 or so. And then the, the very yeah. last one ended up being uh, a winner. Okay. Got you. Okay. So how was the course like in general, you know, like um, your, what was your experience with the course? What was your experience with the community? What was your experience with um, the, the lives, you know, cause you get the live training and stuff. It's really more of a coaching program than a course, but he mm-hmm. calls it a course, but what was your experience like with it? Um, It was on like, it's very, it's very, very helpful and very like, like basically since i didn't know about digital marketing like i like of course like i knew what it was about but like i didn't know like the basics and everything it's very very good at like teaching what you need to know what the uh, interviewers for these um the people who are interviewing you interviewing you what they want to hear and everything so you can get the job it's very good at like teaching the basis of google ads facebook ads seo it's not like of course like at first it was very overwhelming because like it's a lot of information and you know there was a point in time where i was just like man i don't know if i'm willing to be able to process this because like this is a whole different language you mm-hmm. know but seth preaches like you know it's all about learning the language knowing the language once you can mm-hmm. speak the language and everything then the sky's the limit from there you know so like mm-hmm. after i remember like the first half a month like when i bought the course that first month and a half or so you know like i wasn't going to as hard as I could at the course. So like nothing like things were like ring like think my like things were coming to me, but not as well as they could have. Um mm-hmm. then, but when I started focusing on the course and zoning in and just doing like doing parts of it every single day, that's when like stuff started coming to me more. I started to understand certain aspects of Google Ads better, match types, especially when it came to there's a part when it co- talks about generating your own experience and you b- build your own website. And he has a practice spreadsheet, a PPC spreadsheet to, to teach you about account structure and everything. Once I started doing those things, everything started coming to me. That's awesome. Okay, great. So how about the uh, money? Because I know people are wondering that, right? Let's let's talk about the money. That's that's what everyone's wondering. So you're uh, just turned 20 years old. Your your first kind of like real real job, so to speak, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. How, how much were you getting paid right off the bat for an entry level job like that? Um, basically the salary or the money that they offered me was 50k plus bonuses at the end of the year um they weren't um you know i'm not sure how much the bonuses are but the base salary is 50k which for me is like surreal because i'm coming from working at a movie theater in target a movie theater mm-hmm. that paid me nine dollars an hour to <laughs> grow up and it, 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 it was bad i can talk about the movie theater all day um and then target you know they paid me 15 dollars an hour or so but the work that I had to do at Target was just crazy, crazy stuff. Mm. So being able to be 
you know, 21 now, but getting a job at 20 and being more financially independent, being able to do things that I wasn't necessarily able to do comfortably before. It's just surreal. You know, like mm -hmm. this is like where I wanted to be. You know, this is what like I envisioned when I was watching the testimonials and, you know, uh, just being motivated by other people's stories and everything. And I just wanted to, you know, be in that situation for myself. So it's it's a very surreal thing. That's awesome. All right. Yeah. So let's see. Uh, 50K right off the bat. Um, all your friends or not all your friends, but a lot of your friends probably went to college. So they're going to be graduating in probably about two years from now, something like that, two or three years. Yeah. And uh, by then you might have hit six figures. Yeah. yeah. So they're going to graduate. They're going to get a 50K job because that's about what everybody makes right after college, probably about 50K yeah. or so. And then by then you might have even hit six figures. Maybe maybe like you missed maybe like 90K, right? So something like that. But you're probably pretty close to six figures by then. So yeah, that's that's, that's cool. pretty good. That's a pretty good deal. Right. And you did. And you're not like $100,000 in student loan debt on top of exactly. that. So that's, an, that's the main thing. Like, and that's what that's, of course, like I was blessed enough to have the opportunity to be on scholarship when I did go to college and everything. Mm -hmm. But like, that's the one thing that bothered me. Like if I wasn't, you know, and I had to pay out of pocket and all this jazz, right? Like, why am I paying $15,000 a semester, you know? And if I was out of state tuition, even more mm -hmm. to- go to school to learn not really anything practical, you know, mm -hmm. just like, basically, it felt like I was going through high school again, my first year, first year and a half of college and everything. And like doing all, all the prerequisites and everything. I was just like, why am I doing this? You know, mm -hmm. but it, it just didn't make sense to me whatsoever. Um, and I'm a big believer in like learning a skill. And if you're not going to go to college to be an engineer, nurse, lawyer, one of like those big jobs, out there then they just learn a skill of some sort so yeah and the thing about learning a skill um kind of like you said is there's only one way to learn it which is to just to be in the trenches you just have to do yeah. it right so exactly. that's the beauty of digital marketing is the the barrier to entry is not very high anyone can start a google ads account and um you know just starts you know put 50 bucks in it and just start running google ads in fact i think yeah. they give you 500 dollars for free a, a lot of the time when you start the google yeah. ads account so yeah um yeah anyone can just just start it and just start doing it and by the way guys if you guys are confused about some of the terminology we're using here pay-per-click google ads you know all these digital marketing things um seth does actually have a free training which will go over the four main digital marketing careers that he recommends as well as all the terminology tell you if digital marketing is good for you or not um, and just give you an overview of exactly how you can get into digital marketing. And that free training will be down in the description in the pinned comment below. So definitely check that out. So let's talk about job satisfaction. Mm -hmm. So you worked at Target before, you worked at a movie theater, um, and then you've got this digital marketing job. Tell me about the job satisfaction with the digital marketing job versus Target or the movie theater. Oh, well, I have the best manager ever, like at this job right now. She is the most supportive person. And like the my all my uh other coworkers, um, they're the most supportive people like out there. Like from the jump, when I got the job first day, she was like, if you have any questions, anything you want to know, um, if you mess up, I do not care. You know, like I just want you, like, I want to teach you everything that I know so you can be better, be in a better situation, you know. And once I heard that, I was just like, dang, like I have like I thought like I was about to get fired for, or something like for messing up because like I was overthinking that when like my first few days working and everything. But job satisfaction wise, you know, like it could I, I couldn't, you know, words aren't enough to describe how like happy I am with this job. Um, you know, work life balance. Absolutely amazing. You know, my manager, she doesn't micromanage anything. So she's not like on this 24 seven. It's more like of a trusting like, you know, if the work is done and everything is good, then, you know, everything's good on her end. So mm -hmm. uh, compared to like at the movie theater where I'm just like in the concession stand, big movie came out, bunch of screaming in the lobby. Everybody wants popcorn. So I'm running back and forth, so sweating, like popcorn all over me. Ooh. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> and at Target, even worse, just like at points in time, like there would be like five people who would call out. So like I'm doing everything in their jobs on top of my job. So it would, be, it would suck. It would suck working at those other two places. But 
Um, ever since I started working at this agency, it's been the best thing I can ever ask for. Yeah, there, there's this saying, and I think it's true for the most part. I mean, maybe it's not all the way true, but basically you don't get paid for how good you are. You get paid for how easy you are to replace, right? Yeah. And so when you have in-demand skills, when you have digital marketing skills, um, you're not easy to replace because it's an in-demand skill. Whereas if, you know, if you're working at a retail or, you know, at a movie theater, a lot of people could do that job. So it's just like really easy to replace you. So you're probably not going to get paid as well. And even more than that, they're going to make you do way more work. Uh, the job satisfaction is not going to be good. They're not really going to care about your opinion, et cetera, et cetera. It's just that's just generally speaking how it works. Now, of course, there's exceptions here and there. You might have like a re like an exceptionally good manager once in a while yeah. in those positions. But yeah, for the most part, like retail and, and like movie theaters and stuff like that, um, just because you're replaceable, they're just not going to treat you that well. But when you have an in-demand skill, when you have digital marketing skills, you're not replaceable. It's not easy to replace you. So they're going to treat you well. They're going to nurture you. You're They're going to teach you. They're going to, you know, try to build you up into being an amazing employee because it's not easy to find people that have these skills. And that's why it's an yeah. advanced skill. It's just that simple. So that's what I always like to tell people. So let's see next. Is there any like personality characteristics that you think make good digital marketers or does it not really matter? I feel like, you know, like, I mean, for me, I'm more on the outgoing side of things. Uh, you know, like I, I, I've seen like people comment on certain videos like, oh, are introverts good for this job and everything, you know, and I feel like as long as you're confident in yourself and, you know, like, of course, like, you know, I feel like everybody's like shy in some way, some way, shape or more small or big. But I feel like the biggest thing you need to have is confidence. Like mm -hmm. if you don't believe in yourself, nobody else is going to believe in you. If you don't believe that you can say the right say the things that you need to say or you feel like you're speaking gibberish then of course you're going to not do as well as you think you uh, think you're going to do you know you have to be mm -hmm. like oh set on like i can do this i'm confident in myself like who cares if you know i'm getting rejected multiple times who cares you know if this job rejected me uh multiple times like who cares it's more the most important thing is confidence over anything because if you're confident in yourself then everything else will build off of that you'll be more energetic you'll be more set in stone on you know just driving these points w during the interview process and yeah so i i really I, I just really feel like confidence is the biggest thing rather than you know like if someone's more introverted or someone's mm -hmm. more outgoing you know of course like it may be easier for somebody who's more outgoing to be more confident in themselves you know because like mm -hmm. you know being more outgoing, you're just more outspoken. But I just personally feel like confidence is the biggest thing. Yeah, that's a really good point. Because I think a lot of people kind of like you said, get imposter syndrome. And you know, they'll see the job postings, and it'll say, Oh, we prefer somebody who has, you know, two years of one to two years of experience. But you know, you can just ignore that and apply anyways. And it, it doesn't really matter. Right. But a lot of people don't realize that they, they're like, Oh, no, I'm not good enough. Because everyone that applies is going to have years of experience. And uh, yeah, no, just just apply, guys. Just have confidence in yourself. Like, just know that if you put your mind to it, you can learn the skills, right? You you can absolutely learn the skills quickly and you can do the job. It's not impossible to do the job. I mean, tons of people do it. It takes a little bit to learn the skills, but you, once you learn the skills, you can do the job. It's just that simple. Uh, we're all cut from the same plot at the end of the day. So awesome. So what would you say to somebody who is kind of on the fence about jumping into the coaching program, the course, you know, they're, they're watching these testimonials, they're, they're thinking about digital marketing, they're like, man, I think digital marketing would be awesome. But they're on the fence about it. They're not quite sure if they're going to do it. What would you say to that person? I would say, you know, like, just wing it, you know, um, I feel like the best thing I've ever done, you know, was just going through with it. Because like, there was a, there was, I went through you know, COVID and getting multiple jobs and everything, you know, going back and starting school, going kind of like back and forth. Should I start it? Should I not? You know, and, you know, there could have been a, I possibly could have started even earlier, you know, if I was more, you know, set forth on that path and everything. But I would just say, just go through of it and believe in yourself, you know, because like I said earlier, you know, if, if nobody else believes in you, you got to believe in yourself, you know, because, 
Like I had, there was, you know, when I was going through the course, you know, there was some skepticism. There was some, you know, people, there was some people saying that being, just being skeptical about the whole thing and everything, you know, and that's, that's supposed to happen. You know, if you're not going to have doubters or people who are saying the opposite things in your life, then, <laughs> then mm -hmm. you're, you don't have any motivation. Well, I'm not, yeah. I wouldn't say motivation, but like, basically like those people are meant to give you motivation and everything. You're mm -hmm. supposed to use that motivation, not as things to put you down and be like, dang, I'm not going to do this anymore. No, like you got to believe in yourself, be confident in yourself so you can take mm -hmm. action. So I would just say, just wing it, go through with it. And if it works out, it works out, you know, and you should put all your effort into it as if like you truly want to do this. So love it. Love it. And you were talking about, uh, skepticism and i think you mentioned that your parents were a little bit skeptical that it was going to work as well but then you had your dad watch some of the videos he watched some of the videos on my channel and he kind of got convinced to do it and he's like all right cool i'll i'll, I'll go 50 50 with it and, and he kind of jumped in so if anyone's watching this and your parents are skeptical go ahead show them this video right <laughs> yeah. and maybe maybe they won't be so skeptical anymore cuz uh you know Sivian went through the same exact issue where his parents were skeptical too and yeah it's like it's a new world man it's like college was a great thing for a long time it was like an amazing thing because we had the ability to be educated and before colleges existed that that didn't really exist but now colleges are kind of outdated and in many cases like there's obviously there's certain careers where colleges are still great but in many cases, there's a lot of careers out there where you do not need to go to college to get a job. You don't need to go to college to learn the skills. And it's, yeah. it's basically just you're spending way more money and you're spending way more time and effort than you need to in order to land a job. And there's plenty of good jobs out there that don't require college. And I cover them on this channel all the time. So, <laughs> you know, just watch my channel if you don't know some of them. And digital marketing is one of my favorites, if not my favorite. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. There, there's lots of opportunities out there. So awesome. Is there anything that I should have asked you that I didn't? No, I feel like, you know, we covered everything, you know. Uh, you know, the main thing is just to be confident in yourself, believe in yourself, you know, don't let any people dissuade you from accomplishing this because it's a, it's an in-demand skill, you know, mm -hmm. like, like you could just sit down and just do, do the math. Like, would you rather, you know, go to school and you know going all this debt to may or may not do this career and everything or would you want to spend like 700 650 dollars uh wh how, however much the course is to give it a try for six months and see if it works you know because that, that's what i did with my parents you know i sat down with them and you know i felt like you know they had belief in me you know, of course, like, you know, they were skeptical because they never heard of this field. They've never, mm -hmm. they didn't know what this field is, you know, but like, I feel like because they had that belief in me to go through with this and, you know, trusting my word and trusting that, you know, I'm going to get, I'm going to just give this a try. Um, You know, the sky was, the, the sky was the limit for me from there. So just believe yeah. in yourself and you'll be okay. Love it. All right. Well, Simeon, thank you so much for coming on the channel. Uh, this is a full circle moment. You discovered it through the channel and now you're going to be on the channel. Uh, this will probably go out in maybe you know, a week or two, something like that. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for coming on the channel, man. And maybe we'll have you back in a few years. Maybe when you hit that six figure mark, we'll have you back on the channel again. Of course. Of course. I appreciate it. <laughs> awesome. All right. Have a good one, man.